Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about cars in vehicles in general in Cyberpunk 2077. Now, though public transportation will be available in the game, we will be able to traverse through the city using different vehicles. Now, from what I've seen, there are quite a lot of variety of different vehicles. You can ride, for example, motorcycles, vans, armored vehicles, really cool and stylish cars. Now, we also know that we can own several cars. And basically, when you have your place in the, in the night city, your own apartment, you're going to have a big garage. And there, you'll be able to store several cars. Now, I don't know if this means you can own several apartments, but from what I read between the lines, it seems that you, you will have an option for this. Maybe you can spawn from different locations, so you can stay in a certain location instead of just being at home and then need to ride uh, for another far away location on the map, which seems kind of reasonable in a way, because the map is going to be quite big. Now, when you have uh, several cars, you will have the option to mark one as your main one, kind of like, you know, and you can actually call it. And because it's AI driven, it will come to you, kind of like whistling to your host in The Witcher 3. Uh, so it will come to you. You won't need kind of a go by foot in order to get to the car's location, which is cool. And because the cars are air controlled in some parts of the game where you can actually, you will need to finish mission while shooting through, uh, while driving, uh, actually the car will drive and you can actually just shoot in first person instead of just trying to drive it shoot at the same time. That being said, there will be an option to both control the car and also shoot with your, um, with your weapon, which from what I've heard from the developer, it won't be complicated. You can just aim with your Mars and just control the car. Uh, maybe a bit of coordination will be needed for this, but well, we'll wait and see. Um, so this all this means that you can actually leave the car whatever you like uh, and not worry about actually you know losing it or forgetting where it is. You can also just call it and it will come to you. And from what I've read, there's going to be kind of a sound that shows you that, well, the car is actually now start moving towards you. Probably kind of a sound effect that you know uh, that uh, this action of actually calling the car was initiated properly. Now, in the official forums, uh, <coughs> people also mention that there will be an option uh, to um, engage with NPCs while driving the car. So, for example, you can just drive slowly, maybe stop for a second, interact with other NPCs through the window of the car, and they will respond to you. Maybe you'll be able, like this, to take different missions instead of just getting out, just stopping by and just interact with an NPC. Another option is to be able to listen to the radio, some radio stations, while actually driving. Well, we need to see what this one offers. Maybe this one offers option to listen to music, which I think is definitely going to be in the game. <laughs> uh, maybe listen to a police channel. Maybe you're, there's somebody is chasing you, so you can get kind of information where they're looking for you, kind of GTL style. Now, one thing that I think would be really cool is if while driving and needing to get to a certain place, we'll have the option to kind of uh, listen to some news so we can know what's happening in Night City uh, and maybe kind of learn more about the lore and uh, you know kind of a big events that actually happening in the city so for example imagine there's kind of a big event and if you open uh, the radio you'll be able to read about it and get to a certain location where you can actually participate in it now this is just an idea you know that I'm saying that this thing exists but this will be cool so people while driving we try to catch up with different events that happens in the world maybe kind of dynamic events. I think this will be very cool. Now, the other thing that I really want to see, if, for example, I took part in an event, I want to be able to uh, hear something changes. For example, if I just blow up a building, just saying, yeah, not, I don't know if you can, uh, you're probably gonna hear something about it in the news and you're gonna say to yourself, oh, I did that. All right, back to cars. I just got kind of a swap up with the radio thing because I'm so excited about it. Now, I did see uh, scenes uh, where uh, V was able to drive the car and you can actually see uh, her shooting with in third person perspective and also in first person perspective. So I guess there will be an option to switch between the two uh, while actually driving. Uh, I think this would be nice. Usually when I drive, I don't like to drive uh, in first person. I was, you know, kind of screw things up. 
and you know uh, i think it would be cool seeing that kind of the gun popping up in third person and you see yourself kind of driving and shooting uh and i think that's to create kind of a more uh, cinematic uh feeling to maybe car chases or in some events i think having third person while driving is something really cool although uh we know that uh the game itself will play entirely in first person perspective when it comes to uh the way you actually uh, uh, view your character when you play with your character not actually driving so this is kind of an exception in that aspect uh, all right so we know whether you can shoot while we drive what else all right what type of cars we can expect i told you just in general about um uh for example uh, motorcycles vans armored vans uh and of course if you uh, start in Badlands uh, as a nomad you can expect to have kind of a card that fits kind of an armored card Mad Max style card that fits the kind of theme of that area and if you start in Night City you're gonna have something of course different however if you read more about the lore uh, in uh, uh, the world of Cyberpunk 2020 we can get some information what we can expect with what type of cars we can expect to see in the game uh, Cyberpunk 2077 well, uh, maybe you can find some economic cars, like kind of uh, compact passenger cars made by the Jap Japanese Makijai. And if you're a nomad, you might come across kind of a durable passenger vehicles from uh, the American manufacturer Thornton and Chinese manufacturer Archer, uh, which uh, from what I've read are kind of favorable by nomads in Badlands. We can also expect to find some luxury um cars most of them made by european manufacturer again this is based on the lore of the world of uh, cyberpunk 2020 what we actually included in this game cyberpunk 2077 well we need to wait and see but based on the gameplay videos that they've seen and the trailers i see that uh, cd project red really want to make each car feel interesting and unique but speaking about unique this leads us to talk about customizations will we have the option to customize the car in cyberpunk 2077 well search for information about it and some of the information i found about uh, on a website called altchart.com where they mentioned that the lead quest designer paul sasco uh, mentioned that um, players uh, won't be able to customize vehicles they will get kind of a pre-customized cars and I see them also on different forums and people kind of disappointed that car customization won't be a thing in the game. Although in E3 2019, uh, it's mentioned that the senior level designer, Miles Tost, actually confirmed that there will be some kind of uh, some customization options for vehicles. But in later a video that was kind of a drop that there won't be maybe they just dropped this entirely So we won't see we can expect not to see any customization option in the game Now I know that many players especially those coming from GTA want the option to kind of customize their car And this can be something cool like having kind of a skin So imagine like when you finish a very tough mission you can be awarded with a skin for a specific car or maybe a skin you can put on any car you know just gonna match different looks so i think this can be nice um but from what i know so far and for what i've read there won't be an option to customize a car or a motorcycle or whatever any vehicle all right let me share some more information where in the car you're going to have several options at the down right uh, corner you can see there's a handbrake there's a switch camera uh, combat mode allows you to shoot again uh, while the car is kind of an autopilot uh, driving on its own and you can actually just uh, uh, continue focusing on shooting um, uh, enemies uh, radio and the option to exit the vehicle now based on gameplay videos that i've seen i really like the physics uh, you can see there's kind of vision collision physics that works really well so i think that driving will be really fun uh, uh, to play uh, in this game but of course not another thing that we need to wait and see uh, there's an option to uh, drift uh, which is something that i've seen as well so well i think that chasing will be really something fun in this game now regarding interior of vehicles now for what i've seen so far the interior design of the cars are just amazing so detailed and beautiful and of course you 
can expect to see a large variety of different uh, cars and of course each car gonna have its own unique interior design now in some cars i've also also seen some information augmented on the wheel sheet for example you can see the speed you are driving so you know to make the game more immersive of course this information is projected on this part of the car rather than you see it as a ui element somewhere so and it looks really really nice uh, we're probably going to expect to see um, different type of augmented information i think it depends on the car maybe some cars will have different type of uh, abilities capabilities that some of the information that they provide the capabilities will be augmented on the windshield as well now there will be an option to steal cars well how do you think you're gonna get all these cars huh <laughs> probably need to do something to get them uh, so again this will be something interesting to see whether we can even hack cars that would be amazing I'm mean, either with an option to kind of a hack a car Whew. I'm gonna be a hacker so as you can see plenty of details about cars although some of the information probably will disappoint uh, players like the option for not having the option to customize having said that well I'm happy with what I've seen so far especially when I've seen the physics how they look inside the car the variations uh, I think it's going to be really fun to drive cars here and by the way speaking of cars when it comes to car design I'm actually more excited about the uh, Nomad's uh, cars myself but well I, I haven't decided yet which one I'm going uh, through but the cars I think won't be the reason for it to go and go with Nomad so if you have more information about cars in Cyberpunk 2077 let us know in the comment section below I'm also going to spend more time reading and see if ever I can find some really interesting information something that I can add and will really create an old video and talk about it so make sure you subscribe to my channel and give a like if you find it useful and interesting. I see you on the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. Cheers.